welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today is Friday, April 24th. And today I am going to be filming a vlog because it has been quite a while since I have done so. You may be wondering why I have on makeup and look kind of nice. And there's really no reason. I just felt like it was a good day to not wear my pajamas all day and to like kind of dress up and feel good about myself. So yeah, it should be a fun day. So let's get this day started. I'm going to start off this morning with a cup of coffee. Doing the usual, just a little bit of hot coffee because unfortunately I have no cold coffee to make iced coffee. One thing I've been doing lately is measuring out my heavy cream. So I have a little tablespoon measurement right here and I will pour one full tablespoon into my coffee. Mix that around as well as adding a little bit of stevia as always because I like sweet coffee. So a little stevia and time to caffeinate. I drank my coffee and now it's time to water my plants. I have these little watermelon plants right here that are actually doing pretty well. So going to get them watered. Here is my zucchini plant and my little frog friend is peeping out of his hole. Oh, he's so cute. I'm sorry, bud, but it's about to rain a little bit on you. Gonna get him watered. Look at little Cooper Pooper in the window. <laughs> He's like, Mom, what you doing outside? I really don't want to do it, but it needs to be done. So I am about to clean up the kitchen a little bit because it is a disaster, not gonna lie. We've been having some issues with our dishwasher and some of the dishes aren't coming out clean. So if you have any tips or tricks of how to get your dishwasher running a little bit better, let me know. I thought we fixed it, but I think we're still having issues. No good. So yeah, let's get to cleaning. Well, change of plans. A majority of the things I took out of the dishwasher still are dirty. Like, I don't know if you can see it, but there's still like a film on the inside of this glass. There's like coffee stains still in the bottom of the coffee cups. So I'm going to hold off on doing the dishes for now and I am going to run some vinegar through the dishwasher and see if that helps. Otherwise, I guess I gotta contact our landlord and get this thing figured out because it's kind of frustrating. Cody and I just drove into Houston. We got hey, Cody. And we are picking up our new smoker. I am so excited. Also, check out my new cup I got. It is rose gold and sparkly and it helps me drink more water. Are you ready? Yep. So ready. Well, it has been a little while since I last spoke to y'all. Cody and I went into Houston and we picked out our new pellet grill from Pits and Spits and I am so excited about it. We didn't end up taking one home today. They are going to build it for us and have it delivered because these things are heavy because they are made really nice. They're not made in China. They are made here locally in Houston and I cannot wait to start smoking all different kinds of meats. Oh, I cannot wait. It's going to be so much fun. Could y'all be any more pathetic? Could y'all be any more pathetic? Oh my gosh. Oh, sad day, lady. Y'all are pathetic. Went and picked up the pups from my parents' house and I am back at our house now. I'm going to attempt to do the dishes again. I ran a cycle of vinegar through it on the heavy, highest heat setting and maybe that like cleaned it out and got it to where it's gonna clean the dishes right. We shall see. Let's try this again. Dishwasher is loaded and let's hope that it actually works this time. I love that this dishwasher has a countdown though. That's really cool. It is really windy out here today, but I am about to go work on clearing out one of our flower beds. There is a plant called Wisteria, which is really pretty. It's this beautiful vine, but it is pretty much strangling one of the trees in our yard. So Cody and I have been trying to slowly rip this out of the ground and it is incredibly hard to do. So I'm about to go spend a little while 
ripping up some of this wisteria. Wish me luck. realizing that this vine is a heck of a lot stronger than me but see how it's wrapping itself around the tree that will kill your tree so this stuff has kind of taken over it's this entire flower bed it just doesn't look very pretty I have some lilies and some cannas to plant so I really want to rip all this out and plant those in here and just have like that there's some amaryllis in here that are growing I think that would be pretty to have just a little random flower garden but first We've got to get rid of this wisteria, which has completely taken over everything right here. The past couple of weeks, I have to say, have been pretty crazy between moving and the pandemic, some other stuff going on behind the scenes. I have to say that exercise and weight loss has not been at the forefront of my brain. However, I feel like I've kind of gotten into a routine. We've got a lot of stuff taken care of that needed to be taken care of. So I have started actively trying to lose weight once again. Since the gyms are closed, I have been trying to do some form of exercise each day, whether it's walking around the block with my mom, going on a bike ride with Cody, or yesterday I went and swam a ton of laps in my parents' pool. But it really doesn't matter what I'm doing. It just makes me feel good to get out of the house for a little while, get my heart rate going. So earlier today I was digging through some stuff in my office and I found this thing right here. It's this little thing that you hook under your door and you can do like a couple different exercises with it. So since I have nothing else to do and I haven't done any exercise today, I'm going to do a little exercise with my door bands. These are from Mansports. I don't know if they still sell them, but we're going to give them a go because I don't have any dumbbells and those are all back ordered at Academy. So, all right. Time to go try this. exercises three to five times depending on how I feel because I have not done anything like waited in months so I'm gonna be sore tomorrow but I'm excited let's do this are you twitchy why are you so twitchy why are you so twitchy Bobo oh you twitchy what is it what is it Bobo what is it, Bo? What you got hidden in this blanket? Oh, that's why you're, he's got the ice cube toy hidden. And Cooper is not happy about it. Cody has been over here working really hard trying to get a part on the boat replaced because we're having issues with our trim, which raises the motor up and down. So, yeah, he is working on it. I have no idea how to do any of this. We have been outside working on the boat for a couple of hours now and all of a sudden I realized it is nearly seven o'clock. I am getting hungry so for dinner tonight, we are going to be cooking some steaks. These are some beef fillets wrapped in hickory mesquite bacon that we got from HEB. And I don't know what I'm gonna make to go with it yet, but I figured I needed to pull these out and let them start coming to room temperature before we cook them here in just a little while. I am so frustrated. I just washed these dishes on a heavy, high temp with sanitize and air dry. And sorry, it is steamy. Look in the bottom of this cup. Can you see it? There is still the same residue in it. After all of that, how? Like I can wipe that off with my finger. I guess I'm gonna have to hand wash everything in this load and 
I don't know what's wrong with our dishwasher, but that is frustrating. Oh, dang it. I'll deal with that later because I can't bear to look at it anymore. Guess what time it is? Is it time to feed these spoiled puppies their dinner? The puppies that refuse to eat dry kibble if I don't put some sort of gravy on top of it? Yeah, y'all are spoiled. Come here, Cooper. Cooper, you ready, Bobo? Come here. Grab bows. You ready, Bobo? Come here. All right, enjoy y'all's dinner, little babies. To go with our steaks, I made some sauteed mushrooms. So I melted some butter and then poured some washed mushrooms into the skillet. I added a little bit of garlic and then I just let them saute. And they will release a lot of moisture and then it'll evaporate and then they get caramelized and it is so, so, so good. While I was inside cooking, Cody went outside and threw these little fillets on the grill. And then I also microwaved a bag of cauliflower and then threw it in a skillet to kind of crisp it up. Sorry I had to voice over most of dinner. I was on a phone call talking to some of my friends and it was really fun to just sit there and chat. So you got a voice over. But let me show you what we're eating for dinner. Cody just cooked up these delicious fillets. And then I did these sauteed mushrooms to go on top of the steaks and they look really good. And then I just microwaved a bag of cauliflower, put it a little butter in here, a little bit of seasoning, and just sauteed it up to get it a little crispy and delicious. And that is going to be our dinner. I put way too much on my plate, but oh my gosh, this looks delicious. <gasps> Yum. Hey y'all, it is the next morning now. I kind of forgot to pick up my camera after we ate dinner last night because I had a couple things that I needed to do on the computer. But I hate to report it, but those fillets that we ate were probably the worst steak of my entire life. It literally tasted and cut like ham. It was awful. Me and Cody could not eat them. We threw them all away. And that was so frustrating. Like, I thought they would taste good. They're supposed to be fillets. And I don't know what was wrong with the meat, but it was just weird and it tasted like ham. I don't, I don't know what could have happened there. But we ended up having a vegetarian dinner of mushrooms and cauliflower. Oh well, it is what it is. I tried and definitely not going to purchase those again. So anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed today's vlog. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel down below if you haven't done so. And I will see y'all again real soon with another video. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.